Nice bucket. Thank you. Dude, we've got an entirely new episode of Myths just from Star Wars again. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, we are testing a myth about these laser blasters. It's a well-known Star Wars trope. Somehow the heroes always manage to dodge the bullet. But is it actually possible to dive out of the way in time? To find out, Adam and Jamie are going to simulate their own blaster battle and try it out for themselves. By extrapolating from a visual reference, Harrison is six feet tall. And timing how long it takes the blaster bolt to cover a known distance, Adam can calculate its velocity. And before you can say laborious arithmetic, seven frames. Adam has calculated an average from across all six movies. I've got a speed of between 130 and 135 miles per hour at a distance of about 40 feet. So that's what Jamie's gun will replicate. 130 miles an hour at 40 feet. Ow! That's what I'm talking about. Now we have built ourselves our own little version of a rebel ship with a 40-foot hallway. We're going to set up our blaster at the other end that shoots air bullets at the correct speed. And Jamie and I are each going to take turns standing here and attempting to get out of the way of those blaster bolts. You first. <laughs> OK. This is it. The Heineman steps up to the plate to put his body in the firing line for science. All right, Mr. Heineman, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not going to count it down, right? Yeah. OK. So at some point in the next 10 seconds, we're going to fire. <laughs> Moving at the average speed from all six movies, the blaster seems unavoidable. All right, sir. Which means it's Adam's turn. Ah! <laughs> and once he gets an identical... Right in the shoulder. Whew. And conclusive ah. result... This myth is on the ropes. Thus far, Jamie and I have been completely unsuccessful in dodging the bullets from our blaster. Ah! 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 And we've constructed, I think, a pretty nice experiment. We've removed a lot of variables. But now I'm thinking we might have removed one too many. What? I know science is all about removing variables to look at the essence of a thing. But at 40 feet, I can see the stormtrooper holding the blaster. I can see him see me, and he goes, Blast him! That action of the lifting of the gun, that might make all the difference. So to replicate that scenario, these stands are holding this weapon in a standard carry position so that when I identify a potential target, all I have to do is raise the gun and fire. Let's do it. All right, sir, I'm ready when you are. OK. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ow! Right in the knee. Unlike the first series of tests, Adam is able to move before the bolt reaches him. But he still can't avoid the hit. I started out the story thinking that the blaster bolts look darned slow, almost comically slow. But turns out, even when I can see our trooper lifting his rifle into position, it's fast enough to get me every single time. There is no dodging these blaster bolts. Ah! So what have we learned today about humans' ability to dodge blaster bolts? Not going to happen. I was totally surprised by that. Let's get out of here. Dude, it's a set. Oh, right.